How you doing? My name is Trini Sanders, and you're tuned into the famous Living Realm Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're doing right. I got seven strategies to remove blocks about money and so that you can triple your income, okay? If you watch this video through all seven strategies that I'm about to reveal to you, you will know exactly what you need to know if you want to triple your income. Do you want to triple your income? Do you like to talk about money? Speak up, let your voice be heard. Leave a comment below and let me know you like to talk about money. See, most of us fear money. Okay, a lot of us were raised to fear money. I can remember being a kid, I used to touch toys and stuff. When my grandma was taking me out, she said, don't touch that, and I ain't getting it. No, and when, when I go in this store, don't ask to buy nothing because I ain't getting it. No, I'm not buying it. I can remember it like yesterday, man. My grandma loved us to death, though, boy. But I'm saying that to say this most of us, when we was young, we were taught to fear money because money is like the root of all evil. You know, we were taught around people who probably didn't have as much money as they wanted. And so they instill and program all of their money blocks inside of you. And the only reason why you repel money today and wonder why you can't attract it the way that you want to is because you gotta remove the money blocks in your head that was programmed into your mind ever since you was a child, okay? and when you learn this secret, you will become totally different in thinking about money, okay? In order to attract money to you, you have to become very money conscious. I'm gonna say that one more time. In order to attract money to you, you have to become money conscious. Now remember, money is not the root of all evil. It's actually good to think about money a lot because if you saturate your mind with thinking about money, then you're gonna be able to buy things that you need. For your family, you're gonna be able to buy things that you deserve. <laughs> you're gonna be able to put some groceries in your refrigerator. You're gonna be able to get you some new socks, some new shoes. You're gonna be able to eat the food that you wanna choose to eat if you are saturating your mind with being a money vessel, okay? So that's the first thing you gotta do in order to begin to remove the money blocks. You have to understand that it's okay to think about money. And like I said, it's gonna feel weird because we were taught most people are taught to fear money. It's not good. If you ask somebody to pay you for your services, to pay you for doing their hair, to pay you for taking them somewhere, guess you already know what they do. Nah, no, uh-uh, uh-uh. You bring up money around some of your friends. Uh-uh, no, I ain't got it, no, no. It's funny. That's how the average person thinks about money. They don't want to talk about, and that's why they don't got none, because they don't like to talk about it. Well, we talking about it today. Speak up, let your voice be heard, leave a comment below and say, I am money conscious. I am money conscious. The first strategy you got to do to remove these money blocks is you got to up your self value. Okay, I'm going to say that one more time. The first thing you got to do is you got to up your self value worth your self-worth you know how when you type in somebody's name and you be like um jay-z and then they got beside his name net worth or you type in scarlett johansson what they got net worth basically what net worth is is how much value this person has what's your net worth gonna be how do you see yourself okay see you can't know you can no longer see yourself as an invaluable person anymore a person that let people get over on you and let people just use you just because they know they can get something out of you. You gotta change all of that and you have to start charging. You have to become a person of worth, okay? You have to up your self value, meaning that you have to stop settling for the crumbs that fall off the table. You have to stop shopping at the Dollar Trees and the Dollar Generals. You have to stop going to the fast food quick meal restaurants thinking that you're getting by because you think that you're saving money. When you ain't really saving money, you actually lowering your value because the thing that you're going to buy is going to be an item with no energy, no value. You might see this, you might see a, a four pack of toilet tissue on the shelf for 99 cent, right? And it might be another pack beside it for $5.99. But this pack, since it's a dollar, you will get that pack thinking that you actually winning. 
but in real and but in reality you actually lose because guess what when you soon as you start using that cheat pack it's gonna be gone as soon as you start using it i give it three or four days it'll be gone and you say i need some more tissue then you have to go buy some more you see what i'm saying versus getting that charm and that thick soft 2000 rows you know and and it lasts you so you got to become a person of value I remember once upon a time, man, I used to I used to use the roll-on colognes. Y'all remember the little roll-on colognes that the African people like to sell you? No offense to people out there that still use it, but I had to up my value from that. They used to convince me, hey, this is better than the ones they sell in the store. This actually lasts longer. Put some on. It smell good, don't it? But still, there was something bootleg about it to me. And I said to myself, this is good for now. It got me through some, some dates and things like that. I, you know, I felt good about myself at that time because that's the value level that I thought about myself on. I was a roll-on cologne person. But nowadays, I be wearing stuff like this. Bond number nine, Lafayette Street, bond number nine. If you know what bond number nine is, this is a $500 bottle of cologne. I guarantee you, ain't nobody got this on. Everybody that you walk by every day is probably only one out of 500 people that probably got this on or you don't even know about it. But see, you got to up your value and see things that are so-called expensive as not expensive. They just pricey. Okay? It's just pricey. You know what I mean? Keep that in mind. It ain't expensive. It's just pricey. So up your self-worth. The more you up your self-worth, the more you feel good about yourself, the more you begin to move money blocks and begin to triple your income. And you won't see big prices as big prices. Okay? You'll see big prices as small prices. The next thing that you want to do, the next strategy that you want to do to remove money blocks is you want to advertise your worth. Advertise yourself. Put yourself out there in the marketplace. Let people know what you're good at, what you can do, what you're capable of, and then put a price tag on it. Folks, it ain't nothing wrong with selling it's selling what you know how to do to other people. That's what, that was one thing that I was afraid to do. Once again, money fears in my mind. That was one thing that I was afraid to do on my journey, and I kept staying in a broke a situation because I was talented, I was gifted, I'm smart, but I kept saying, I should just tell people for free. I should just do this for free. Yeah, God gonna bless me. God wasn't gonna bless me. God said, you know what? You need to charge people for this. I gave you this so that you can double your income because they can't do what you can do. They need to pay you for it. If they don't want to pay you for it, oh well. If people don't want to pay you for their services, for your services, it's gonna be some people that come along and want to buy buy your services it's gonna be some people that want to get their hair done by you you don't your friends don't want to pay let them go let them let their head go ahead and be messed up but it's gonna be some people if you advertise what you could do to the world and put a price on it if you advertise it and you show people look i'm so good at this you gotta pay me when people see that you are requesting to be paid they really look at you totally different versus uh i can just you know wing it with this girl i can just get on by because she ain't worth nothing she don't even get put no price on her stuff it's free so you got to stop thinking like that once again you got to reprogram your mind to know that you are valuable so you got to up you got to up and advertise your worth okay another strategy that you got to do in order to triple your income is stop trying to save money okay that's what that that's what that broke mindset do that broke mindset or try to teach you you need to save money and if you ain't saving it you ain't making it no don't don't save money rich people billionaires they don't save money they don't try to save money what they do is they invest their money and then make more money so that they can end up in a higher tax bracket. So all you're doing is getting money and investing it into yourself. Getting money, investing into yourself. Get money, invest it into your business so that you can have more uh, components to your business. Invest it into yourself. Go buy some books so that you can add some more knowledge to your mind. Invest into yourself. People out there hire trainers as a life coach because they know that when they invest in themselves and I give them the knowledge that they don't know, they're going to be much more equipped to be able to go into a higher tax bracket. You see what I'm saying? Information is king. Information is the difference between rich and poor. It ain't about how much money you can keep in your pocket. It's about how much information you have. You get money, 
Invest in yourself. Invest in into something that you are passionate about and just keep rotating the money like that. Get it? Invest it. And don't be scared to give it away to something that is going to be beneficial to you. That's another thing that I be seeing a lot of people having a problem with. They are scared to go buy a book. Because they think that, oh, I ain't going to spend this $20 on a book. That book going to change your life. Okay, so keep in mind, invest into yourself. Number four, the next strategy that you want to do in order to remove money blocks and triple your income. I'm going to do this for people out there who don't really have a business. Okay, I'm going to give this, this strategy to you. Become a... If you're not an entrepreneur, become an intrapreneur. And an entrepreneur is a person who actually helps other people, uh, you know, get their businesses and stuff off the ground. Help them. If you know somebody that knows somebody that knows something about it, help this person link up with that person. Be an entrepreneur. You might have several different things that you're good at, but you just can't, you know, lock down on this one thing because you can just do so many different things. You can multitask. Well, you know what? You are an entrepreneur. You are an entrepreneur, okay? If you don't have no business and it's, it, you don't have no set focus on exactly what you want to do, be an entrepreneur. Go around and find people who got real good stuff going on, good businesses going on, well, investors, real estate people, whatever. Uh, Uber drivers who got things that they doing outside of driving Uber. Talk to people, get to know people, become their assistant and invest into them and they'll invest into you being an entrepreneur, okay? So that way you can become your own entrepreneur. Once you got all these different people around you that you are helping, trust and believe, you're going to eventually get to a point where you know exactly what you want to do, which is going to take me into the fifth strategy, which is focusing on one skill set. Focusing on one high income skill set. One high income skill set. And that, that's another problem with most people and why they have so many blockages about money. It's because they are focused on too many different things at one time. Okay? That drains your energy. Okay? That keeps money from blocked from coming to you because you're not focused on one particular thing. You see what I'm saying? You have to focus on one skill set and work at it outside of your everyday job. Okay, and a skill set is not a profession. You don't need no qualifications for this. You don't need no college degree to focus on one skill set. Okay, this is something that anybody could do. And if you find something that you're really good at outside of the job that you work at, if you keep working at it day by day, I can guarantee you, you're going to get to the point where you start earning money off of it. And then it's going to give you uh, momentum. And then you're going to be, begin to triple your income versus what you make on your everyday job. Okay? Get one high income skill set and focus on that one thing. Okay? That's the next thing you should do in order to triple your income. All right? Number seven. Number seven. What you want to do, well, actually, number six. What you want to do is you want to create multiple streams of income from that one high income skill okay like i said once you gain the momentum on that one high income skill you begin to think of more creative ways to make multiple streams of income i give an example since i'm using hairstylists all night if you a hairstylist and you've been doing hair for a long time okay now since you got so many different clients why not go find another hairstylist link up with her Give us some of your clients. Next thing you know, y'all both making it happen, okay? Y'all both bringing in clients. Back to back to back to back. Next thing you know, she know another friend that know another friend that is a hairstylist. Next thing you know, y'all put y'all heads together. Y'all coming up with a hair salon, okay? This is how you create multiple streams of income, okay? If you are a marketer, right, and you do digital marketing, okay? You real good at digital marketing. Not only... Is that your one skill set that you are focused on, your high income skill? Okay, now you can go to Amazon. You can work for Amazon and sell some of Amazon products. Okay? Come up with multiple streams of income from your one uh, high income skill that you've been focusing on. Okay? Multiple streams of income. All right? So that's the sixth strategy to remove money blocks in order to triple your income. Last but not least, number seven, okay? Number seven, 
what you want to do is you want to make sure that you keep an open mind all right so many people have money blocks because they live a stagnant lifestyle you know most people are introverted they can't talk to anybody they're afraid of the world listen you cannot become rich and make a lot of money if you not, are not involved with the world around you. You have to become open-minded about everything. Like your perception has to change about having change in your pocket. You're trying to make dollars, okay? So in order to make money, you gotta realize it ain't about what you know, it's about who you know, okay? And people have the keys to all the doors that you have or trying to gain access to, okay? So it takes you being the type of person to be able to reach out and say, hey, how you doing? Um, I do this, what do you do? Let's connect, let's do something together, okay? Your business is not gonna succeed with just you doing it, okay? Me personally, I got a lot of entrepreneurs that I work with. A lot of people come to me, they do this for me. You know, a lot of people create my avatars and pe people help me with my website and stuff. People help me understand this and understand that, being a YouTube vlogger. And guess what? I could never be where I'm at right now if I didn't have an open mindset about letting people into my life to help me with it, okay? So you gotta have an open mindset about how you're gonna have access to this money, okay? Remove the block of negative thinking that I can't work with nobody because for whatever reason, they're not gonna be like me, they're not gonna like me, whatever, that, all that gotta go out the window. And you gotta, you gotta remind, remind yourself that in order to remove blocks and to triple your income, it takes you working and networking with people and having an open mind to be able to have access to the money that is all around you, everywhere you go. Money is everywhere, but it never gonna be able to come to you if you don't get out there, open your mouth, be active and get involved, okay? So these are the seven strategies to remove blocks about money and triple your income. If this video resonated with you, simply just give it a thumbs up and comment below and say, I am money conscious. I am money conscious, okay? We're gonna saturate our mind with money because it's something that was forgotten, okay? But we're gonna rebuild it so that we can actually begin to attract it into our life, okay? Make sure that you subscribe to my channel by clicking my face icon and hit the bell notification so that you can be notified every time I upload new videos every single day, like these two right here. Subscribe to my channel now. Check out some other videos. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.